vegetable police here. So I'm at a buffet, the Imperial Buffet. They ain't gonna know what hit them. I fast all day, I eat one meal a day. Y'all are about to go out of business. So I was forced at gunpoint to carb the fuck up as the only fatty vegan option were the saltiest olives on earth. So I got a mountain of cantaloupes and watermelon. The cantaloupe was really enjoyable. I almost went back for seconds, but then I thought, screw that. I'm here to have some fun and fruit isn't fun. When you're vegan at a buffet, you have to strategize. Before even getting my fruit plate, I took all the cucumber sushi rolls because it's the only vegan roll they have. Then I got my fruit meal, which gave them time to refill the cucumber rolls, and then I raided the cucumber village again. I also got some of their broccoli, little cherry tomatoes, olives, but I found their olives were too salty, so I only ate a couple of them. I got a tiny bit of cabbage salad because my girlfriend got some and it looked yummy. I had to know what that was all about. I usually don't get this ginger because it's full of food colorings and preservatives, but I just figured this was a cheat night and the ginger would help me digest everything, so it also had a fun factor of 11, so I, I just went ahead and did it. They ran out of cucumber sushi. They could not keep up with my demands, and I sacrificed their firstborn virgin daughter to the cucumber gods and then went on to gather more food. This was a simple plate of steamed rice and a bunch of stir-fried veggies. I ate everything but a few pieces of broccoli and cauliflower as my stomach was just about to explode and I could not fit in anymore. I ate as much as I could that night and I regret nothing. I also took pictures of my girlfriend's meals. They're so tiny and cute compared to mine. She got some corn on the cob, a little bit of veggie fried rice green beans, cabbage salad, and some leafy greens. So cute. Her second plate, she gorged on white rice, the likes of which have never been seen before. I actually had to pull her aside and say, listen, hon, I know you're hungry, but that's just too much rice for one human being. You're not a sumo wrestler. Let's dial it down a notch and be civilized here. But she didn't listen. They had to ship more rice from China just to accommodate her uncontrolled gluttony. It was embarrassing. Her next plate, we actually had to call in the obesity ward psychiatrist because I was worried. I mean, she ate that entire piece of broccoli like it was candy. Like it was a game to her. The roasted eggplant in the background was eaten with no remorse. Same with the sesame ball. She has a problem. Please help us. I actually encouraged her to eat more. She didn't quite look satisfied. I knew she wasn't. And she often doesn't eat enough here and then she'll be hungry later. So she got some more eggplant, another sesame ball, and some mystery desserts. So that was our buffet night. And I suppose you're wondering, what did it feel like to carb the F up when I've been on this high fat diet for so long? I did not feel better. So that was kind of a relief. I was kind of wondering, like, if I carb up, am I going to feel, like, amazing, like I was missing something? That was not the case. I actually felt worse just because of all the preservatives and who knows what's in that broccoli. Oh, I love that broccoli. But, I mean, it was doable. I didn't feel terrible, didn't feel great. It wasn't an improvement, but, I mean... I wish they had more high fat options. The only fatty foods are meat, grilled freaking animals. So, terrible. So, vegans are not catered to there. Their only vegan role is the cucumber. I actually end up poking the cucumber out. It's taking up valuable real estate in the gut. So, ain't nobody got time for that shit. So that was it. That was my cheat night. It's always fun to go there and eat all I can eat. I did notice my enthusiasm just getting lower and lower the more I ate. Like it was so exciting during the fruit. And yeah, the sushi was like, 
yeah, this was so fun. I love this. And then it's like, I'm just a gluttonous pig. I'm tired. Why am I doing this? So that's what happens at an all-you-can-eat buffet. We go through some mental breakdowns and what can we do? So that was it. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Help me, Lord Cunningham. I feel so terrible. <laughs> I'm so weak, nauseous, tired, delirious. What have I done? Why does my hair do these things? What is this? Should I do that? What's wrong with me? So, yeah, I've just been laying here wondering why. Why have I done this to myself?